Good morning. Every Wednesday, I send out a This Week in Unity blog. And so today, I thought I would try a This Week in Unity vlog. So today, we're going to look at Unity's third principle, and that is the Law of Mind Action. And it states, what you hold in mind, manifests in kind. So let me ask you, what's in your mind? What's going on in here? What thoughts are you thinking? What concerns, if any, are you carrying? And I understand, believe me, we are living in the craziest times ever. They, are, they can be very challenging. They're, and the thing is there's lots of intersecting concerns. There's our health. We're keeping ourselves healthy from this pandemic. There's lots of um, economic scarcity. And my heart goes to some, especially these young people who want to get out there and get their first jobs. It, it really does. Then there's the racial inclusivity and the justice that people are demanding to live out fully the American principles. There's climate change. There's politics. It just seems like there's a lot of breaking down of cultural norms. And the appearance of it, it can be scary. It can look scary. But what we have to remember is we are conscious creators and we create our experience, our life. It doesn't matter what's happening out there. It's what's happening in here that we have control over. And we can live in the midst of chaos from a very centered and poised place. That's what I love about Unity Principles. They are lifesavers, lifelines. The third principle is the law of mind action, and it's a lifeline to us to help keep our mind, our attitude, our, our way of seeing the world above the appearances of the world. And when we allow ourselves to connect with our spiritual source, when we turn away from the cynicism, when we turn away from the helplessness, when we turn away from the worldly appearances, we touch that place where we connect with the peace that passes all understanding. And we can relax just a little. We relax into love. Love binds us together. And our thoughts then shift because we are raised above the world. And we begin to see that these are not cultural breakdowns, they're cultural breakthroughs. And yes, they can be painful. An affirmation that I've been using this week and affirmations and denials as our co-founder, Myrtle Fillmore, said, use them so you are lifted above the world, above the negation. So my affirmation this week has been, my thoughts and words create my life. I am a conscious creator. So that doesn't mean that we go around saying, oh, it's all good, it's all good. Spiritual maturity gives us the understanding that everything is evolving. We, as conscious beings, because we are alive, we're growing and evolving. We grow up. We grow out of our clothes. We grow through challenges. We grow through relationships. We grow out of mindsets. Denials and affirmations then, they become spiritual tools that we use to stay centered and poised in the awareness that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. I am reminded of Jesus, our way shower, who said, in the world, there are trials and tribulations but I have overcome the world. Join me. Let's overcome the world of challenges and grow and rise up so that we can see that we 
are conscious creators of our life. Blessings to all, namaste, and may we awaken in the light together. God bless.